Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on Sales CRM. So in this video we're going to talk about Acumatica's integrated CRM system and how you can use it to accelerate your sales processes. So let's get started. We'll go into our marketing workspace and we can see here we have leads, contacts, and we also have opportunities. So let's get started with leads. We can create a new lead in the system. Leads look like this, where we can put some information in there. First name, last name, the status. For example, we've just imported a set of leads and we're gonna keep them all as new. And the reason for that is they need to be assigned. We can fill in the company information. Once we assign this to someone, it'll get an owner or a work group. We can provide the title, the email, address, information, what the lead class is. Now the lead class provides some preferences for this batch of leads. So if you look at the example of the different lead classes, you know this for example is a sales lead for business, this is for business services and so on. But we can also use leads for HR and job requests and things. But if we take a look at the lead class so we get an idea of what kinds of preferences are in the lead class, there's a few things. First of all, there's defaults. So for example, when I create a new lead with this lead class, I can default the source of where I got this lead. And the same thing with the work group. What's the default work group for business sales leads? You could default the owner to the creator. So for example, I'm creating the lead. It would use me, my employee profile, as the owner. And the same thing, the work group could default to me, my owner's work group, whatever work group I'm assigned to. And then we also have lead conversion settings, whether we copy the information from the lead over to the business account or to the opportunity. And if we do that, what is the default business account class and opportunity class that we use when we convert? And this is the email profile we use. Now one other thing in the class is, under attributes, these are the custom fields we've set up in Acumatica under the attributes, the global attributes in the system. However, some of these attributes don't apply to certain types of lead classes. So we have the ability to add to this lead class different types of information that's important for these types of leads. And we can prioritize them and even make them required if we need to. So let's close this. Acumatica supports the personal data privacy, which is required in Europe and not so in the US yet, but we're ready for it. If we go over to attributes, as we talked about, these are the attributes that are available. They were globally set up, but they're assigned to this lead class. And so we can use the drop downs that are associated with these attributes and select that information for this particular lead. We can relate this lead. I'm skipping over activities for a moment. Once we save this, we can relate this lead to someone else. So this could be a business user who's associated with another account that I happen to know. I can go over here and link them to active staff. What that allows you to do is in active staff, perhaps Linda should be CC to all emails when I'm communicating with John Doe. So some interesting feature there that you can use. Additionally, as we build in other areas of the CRM system, campaigns, marketing lists, we're not going to go into those kinds of things in detail in this video. But as this lead is associated with different campaigns and marketing lists, you'll see them here. In addition to being able to dynamically add them to marketing lists over in the marketing list area of Acumatica, you can also add them manually here at the lead. Acumatica has integration with HubSpot so you can see the synchronization status and you can see the sync status here for Salesforce if you use those products. Now under activities this is where we have the ability to communicate 
or add our notes and activities to this particular lead for follow-ups. So I can add an email for John Doe. So we know that John Doe was looking for home good products. Our user signature would show up here based on our email preferences, if it was configured here in the user profile, upper right hand corner. But over here I can hit the send button and now I'm starting all the activities against this particular lead so we can follow up on it. Additionally, I can have tasks for reminders. So, John Doe is back from vacation. I'm going to follow up next week. <clears throat> and I'll give myself a reminder. And I'll save and close. Now, in addition to this showing up here as a task reminder, Acumatica's task screen will show me all of the tasks that I need to work on. Red means that they're overdue. So I can go through these, and when I click on this, notice the related entity. This will bring me right into the lead. This will bring me right into the task. And at some point when I've completed this task, I can complete or complete and follow up. If I complete and follow up, I've completed that particular task. But now I'll push myself ahead another week and I'll save it. And now I have another week here as an open task. If I go back to the lead, I can see the completed task and my follow-up. So this is very helpful to continue to follow up on all your leads. Now going back to the lead list. So this is a generic inquiry in Acumatic, it's built in, that shows you all of your leads. And in Acumatic, as you know, you can use filters to show only my leads, for example, or any other filters that I'm looking for. You can see the status here, lost, converted, new. So you can really use these filters to leverage the information that you have at hand. So for example, if the task I'm working on is to follow up on lost leads, to ensure that I've tracked all the reasons for lost, I can do a filter by lost and follow up with all those. If there are new leads that are unassigned, I can look for those as well. So this makes it very helpful to follow up. Additionally, there's a last incoming and outgoing date. So a really good way to handle leads that have not been worked on in a while is to sort, perhaps by ascending, all the leads with no last outgoing activity. This way you can see them cycle through and then as soon as you get to the end of the list, you can start from the beginning of the list good way to cycle through and do all your follow-ups. So let's look up John Doe again. And inside the lead, we'll take it and we'll make it open. It's currently in process. Let's go to our actions menu. From here we have the ability to convert it to a contact or to create an opportunity. Now, an opportunity requires a contact, so this will handle both steps at the same time. Sales opportunities in Acumatica allow you to start to track a sales cycle. So once you've confirmed that this lead has value, meaning that you've sized up the lead, there's a budget, there's authorization, there's a need, and there's some level of timing, you can create an opportunity and start tracking it this way. So let's create our opportunity. Acumatica automatically converted it to a contact. So if we go back to our lead and we search for John Doe, you can see that this lead status was converted. So this gives us the ability to track conversions as well from lead to contact or opportunity. So let's take a look at our opportunity. So the status is new, it's currently a prospect. But we can take this and we can change the stage to nurture, qualification, development, solution as we go through our various sales cycles. 
Now these are configurable, so you can configure these based on your sales process. We'll take this opportunity, we'll make it open. Currently it has no business account. You don't need a customer in order to track an opportunity, just a contact. We can go into document details and start to add some items, some rough items that we think the customer is going to want. We started to talk to them and they have interest. And what we can see here too is under details, we have a probability of zero because the stage is still prospect. But as we advance through our stages, and again, this is configurable, the qualification stage, for example, weights this at a 10% probability, which takes our total amount of our opportunity and takes a 10% off that and gives us a weighted total. This helps you with your forecasting reports. Additionally, there's an estimated close date. So if we believe that this customer will make a decision maybe by November 6th, this will help with our forecasting reports as well. So if we move to a stage qualification, we can see 10% and $111 is the weighted total. So Acumatica takes the total amount of the opportunity and multiplies it by the probability and that gives you your forecasted weight total. Additionally, the estimated date gives us the ability to understand when we expect this to close. So in sales, my sales manager is asking me, what am I going to close this particular month? So this gives me all of my timelines. Now, additionally, I can create quotes. So Acumatica allows you to create any number of quotes for this opportunity. So by default, it's going to add the details, the items that we added to this opportunity into the quote. So we'll hit create and review. And these are the items. We can make changes to this. We can change the quantities. We can give them a break, for example. We can give them 10% off on this particular item. And we can save it, submit the quote, and then email it out. So now this quote is sent. Now if I go back to the opportunity, you can see the status of that quote, the fact that it was sent, but you can also copy this quote and create a new revision. So now the customer has asked for another set of items for perhaps their second floor. So we can come up here, we can add different quantities, add different items. And also make this the primary quote and then submit it as a second version. Now when it's all done, I can come up here to actions create a business account for the customer. Convert it to a customer. And now back onto the business account, I have the ability to look at a number of different elements of this customer. So for example, I can look at their opportunities, which is the one we just created. I can look and see if there's any support cases that are ongoing for this customer. Any orders, any open orders. We haven't created any yet. This is a brand new customer. But if we go back to our opportunities and open it up, Under actions, we can create a sales order right from here. So the customer's confirmed that they want the goods. We can move this down to negotiation or one. We can convert it to a sales order. 
And now we have a sales order for this brand new customer and we can start to fulfill it through the warehouse. If we go back to the business account and we take a look at the orders, you'll now see that open sales order. You can now see this particular opportunity that's won and you can keep tabs on this brand new customer. So we've gone through marketing, we created a lead, we converted it to an opportunity, which of course created a contact. We created quotes for it, we won the deal, and then we created a sales order out of it. Now some of these steps will be different departments in your company. So just keep that in mind that while we did everything ourselves together today, for example, customers might be the process that accounting handles to make sure that terms are created correctly and credit limits and those kinds of things. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching this brief sales CRM demonstration in Acumatica. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.